Now we're back on the little craftsman lathe again. Um, what I've got here is some uh, some steel tube. It's uh, five eighths uh, OD thick wall tubing because I wanted to uh, thread that. I'm going to use these for standoffs for the firewall. I got two. 12 inch sticks of this tubing from Aircraft Spruce and uh, I just cut them in half into approximate 6 inch lengths. I want them real close on length because uh, that's the, the, the standoff. I don't want it, any twist or anything in it and I want one good face on it. I just faced off this one and I put my big chuck in here and I, I used this for a while and it works okay but it, there's so much overhang on this chuck that I just didn't like using it because it puts too much um, unsprung weight or, or weight hanging out over that uh, that spindle for that little teeny spindle but I wanted something that would support this tubing while I faced it off I don't have a steady rest so I wanted as much in here and as it could so these jaws stick out here um, well three quarters of an inch or so but then the tube it goes on in side way down in the uh, chuck too uh, in through the center hole of the chuck quite a, quite a way so it's pretty well supported there what I'm going to do is I'll face off uh, all four pieces on one end and then I'll swap them end for end and start cutting them to length I'll pick I'll pick the shortest one second second end of it I'll face it off and then I'll take a measurement from the end of the the jaws of the chuck here or from the face of the chuck someplace like that out to uh, what I have and then I'll, I'll cut them all down to that same length. So I've got that one pretty well faced off so I'll just take the file and break break the end of it a little bit there. So that's one, one in a row is 4130 steel and it it's pretty rough uh, cutting on this little lathe. Um, and it make, doesn't make a very very nice cut when it's done with the tooling I have but uh, I couldn't get anybody to uh, sell, sell me any mild steel any place and uh, couldn't get anybody to ship anything like this so aircraft spruce was the uh, only supplier I could get that would ship me metal and all they, they didn't have any mild steel tubing um, all they had was 4130 so that's what we got well I gotta just do a little cut at a time on here Nice to have a bigger lathe that you could uh, put this either in a collet or put it all the way down inside the, the headstock through the front spindle. Get a nice uh, short coupling on here. But uh, beggars can't be choosers. This is what I have. didn't do as bad with a hacksaw cut and uh, straightened it up on the disc sander as I thought I did. Well, the, just one cut made a, made a clean face on that. Okay, that's not too bad of a face on there at all. Rough cutting stuff. Okay, now I'm going to measure those and find the shortest one. I guess I should mark those as to what side I've already done. Should be obvious, I guess, but 
And here we know that's 620. I got two of them at 620. Put that in there tight. Okay, I got this first uh, piece faced off down so it's nice and flat. And uh, that was the shortest one. There were two of them that were pretty close, uh, about six inches and twenty thousandths. Um, but I took the shortest one, put it in there, and I, I faced it off. And uh, so I, it's set now where I finished the last pass was right here. I leave the, the carriage where it was when I finished. And what I was going to do was take my uh, dial calipers and uh, just uh, make a mark the length of this that, that's exposed from, the say, the face of this, this jaw right here out to the end. Um, and I remembered I'd got this, uh, this magnetic back um, dial indicator here. And uh, that's the reason I got it is because there's no calibration or anything on this uh, little lathe. And uh, I got it to, to use for, to calibrate or to uh, check my depth of cuts. But I really wasn't thinking of depth of cut back and forth this way. I was thinking more of the carriage travel or, you know, in and out on the cuts but, uh, for the depth. But, but this will work too. Now I could have used a, a stop on here, a carriage stop, if I had one, but I don't have one. And uh, so this thing will work just fine. Um, I'm going to put a piece of paper towel behind it so that uh, over that magnet, so it doesn't pick up too much uh, um, too much too many filings. And uh, I just set it right on the. Get that out of the way there, and just set it right down here on the uh, track, and then uh, there set that for zero. And uh, now I should have some repeatability on that. I should be able to set those uh, the depth of cut on those other uh, three right exactly there. Well, that's it. Okay, so this is the other short one. I'll do it first. This is the good end here. Seat that in there home. It cuts a lot better with cutting oil. I noticed it cut better with oil on it, but even with this cutting oil, it makes a big difference. These are the biggest cuts I've taken yet on this stuff, and it's cutting really good now. This oil makes a big, big difference. This is some uh, thread cutting oil. This is stuff that uh, I've had for over 50 years. Uh, my dad got it when we were putting in plumbing in the house for, for a house. It puts it right up on. Okay, that went well. That went really well. I'm going to compare those two with the dial calipers just to make sure, see how close they are. And the dial caliper says. Alright, this one is <laughs> six inches. Come on, that's pretty damn close to six inches. This is the other one. I'd say that's uh, pretty damn close to six inches. And then now that I put this oil on here, this makes a whole lot of difference in these shavings. Um, before it was almost like cast iron with just real small sh chips and now we're coming off with uh, a ribbon just about. We 
got the indicator starting to move now. So you can see the chip chip coming off that, a ribbon coming off of that now. That's a pretty good ribbon. I've been getting uh, three or four thousandths at a time on these cuts. That's not too bad for the unsupported end cut like this. We've got a, still got a little bit that kicks out to that outside edge it wants to climb. Deflect pretty good. It's still got a little bit of an interrupted cut there. the outside edge. Oh, it still bounce a little bit there. There. Okay. Let's move that up. We got eighty thousandths. We'll go up to eighty three. That's two, two thousandths, not three thousandths. Uh, sticking on there pretty good and making that okay now we got 82 thousandths 85 thousandths Gives me right on zero. Last cut. It zeroes it out right there. That's the last cut. That does that. So that's a much nicer, smoother cut than I tried dry. That's for sure. And now, just for grins and giggles, I'll try this. Uh, There we go. That's pretty close. That's pretty darn close. 
Closer than I can make it. <laughs> 